Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. If this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop by anytime you feel, my friend. Guys, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to tie four useful knots for tying knots in ropes and tying ropes together. The first one's going to be called a bowline knot. The second one is going to be a, called a square knot. The third one's going to be called a, a surgical knot. And the fourth one's going to be called a sheet bend knot. Now the bowline knot is known for being the king of all knots. One of the most common uses for it is at the end of a rope. Now I'm going to demonstrate this out here and then I'm going to give y'all a close up of tying each one of these knots. Now the bowline knot, you hold the rope in your hand. Go around your hand, up through the hole, around the rope, and back through the hole. You pull it and get it good and snug down. And my friends, that there is how you put a loop in the end of your rope that don't slip, don't move. It's there for duration. Again, that's called the bowline knot. All right, guys, this is how you tie a bowline knot. And I'm gonna give you a little saying to remember this. The end of your rope's the rabbit. Hold your rope in your hand. Go around your hand. The rabbit's gonna jump up through the hole. He's gonna go run around behind the tree and he's going to jump back into the hole. And when you do that, you hold your rabbit by the head right there, and you pull him, work him down tight, and that, guys, is your bowline knot. You can cut any rope. If it's a nylon rope like this, you can melt the end of it. If it's a cotton rope, you can just, just tie a knot in the end of it. So these next three knots is knots you want to use when you got two pieces of rope and you need them tied together maybe to make your rope longer. The first one's called a square knot. Now on the square knot, in this video for demonstration purposes, I got two different size ropes, two different diameters, two different colors. But the square knot is only good for when you tying two pieces of the same rope together. Same size, same material. Tie a square knot. Lay your rope side by side. Make one wrap with one. Fold them back over. Make one wrap with the other one. And clinch them down. Again, that only works on a rope that's the same size rope, the same material. Two ropes, two different sizes, a square knot with slip. All right, guys, to tie you a square knot, tying two ropes together to lengthen your rope. In this video, I'm using two different size ropes, two different colors. And I'm gonna make one thing clear. A square knot will not hold when you're using two different size diameter ropes. I'm using this just for demonstration purposes. So you bring one rope, make one wrap. You bring the end of the other rope over, and you make one wrap. You cinch that down. When you hook to your rope and you really get a tug on it and it cinches that knot together, if it's on the same size rope, it'll cinch down and won't go nowhere. That's called a square knot. Next up is the surgeon's knot. 
You lay your rope side by side. Put you three wraps. One, two, three. Bring your ends back together. Make you one full wrap. And you suck that down. That's called a surgeon's knot. Now a surgeon's knot will work on two different size ropes. Now this here's the surgeon's knot. This is the best knot for tying two ropes together. Lay your rope side by side. You wrap three wraps. One, two, three. You bring your rope ends together. And you wrap one. And you grab each end. And you suck that down tight. Now that's called a surgeon's knot. Now that's the one you want to use if you're using two different size diameter ropes. When you put took tension on that each end of that rope pulling on something all it does is get tighter that's called the surgeon's knot the next one is called the sheet bin now this one here will work on two different materials ropes of two different materials but similar in diameter I'm gonna make you a loop go through around back under and back through and then we'll work on two different all right guys when you want to tie two different ropes of two different sizes like i got right here this is another good one it's called the sheet bin you want to start out with your rope loop like that. Take your other rope, run through the loop, go around it one time, and back under your rope like that. That's called the sheet bin knot. You can tie two different size ropes together with that knot, and it won't come out. Well, guys, I hope this little knot tying video helps someone out. Hope you find it very interesting. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom. Hit that little notification bell, and you'll get notifications every time I load up new videos. Guys, that's the best way y'all can help this fella grow this YouTube channel and share my videos on your social media. That's just four knots for today. I got a lot more knots. I'm going to randomly make a video on showing how to tie different knots and how useful they can be. But guys, thanks for watching. God bless. Y'all have a great day. See y'all next time. Hit that subscribe now, you hear? God bless.